Hey guys, it's Jordan. So this video is just gonna be super chilled. I'm just gonna do my hair and makeup with you guys. Just a little, you know, get ready with me. I'm gonna do the hair and makeup that I had in my last video, which you guys went crazy for. You really wanted to see this, so I'm doing it. I was really surprised though, because the makeup was really, really simple. There's no lashes. The main focus of it is just like the really, really glowy skin, which is my fave. For real though, this kind of makeup is my favorite. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And then my hair was just like these wavy curls. You know what, I think I'm gonna tie my hair up because it's gonna annoy the crap out of me. Okay, that is so much better. I'm gonna use the Nip and Fab Primer Water. I've only used this a couple times, but it feels really nice on my skin. The only thing about this though is the like spray. It comes out like a hose, like no joke. Massive water droplets come out and I almost like drown every time I use it. I feel like my face is dripping. My hair is like drenched where the water droplets are like so big. It feels nice though. To smooth out my skin and just sort of sort the pores out, I'm gonna use my good old Benefit Professional. I love this stuff, honestly it makes the nicest base for my makeup. Just gonna rub this into my T-zone. Guys, I've been like really ill at the moment. I can't stop coughing. I have to keep taking coughing breaks in this video because I'm like dying. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, by the way guys, I have already done my eyebrows. You probably already knew that, but um, I used the, where are you? Where are you? I use the Freedom Eyebrow Pomade in medium brown. I always use this. I just did it because I feel like this video is gonna be 20 years long anyway, so saving time. Then for foundation, I used the L'Oreal True Match. Now you guys know I love this stuff. I took a break from using it because um, I have so many foundations that just wanted to try out different things. But honestly, this, is, this has my heart. Now right now this is a fresh tan, so I mixed together the colors 4W and 6.5W. When my tan isn't so fresh, I just use 4W, but come out. Don't you hate it when one of your favorite foundations starts to run out? Dot this onto my skin. So recently I've been starting with a brush to buff in my foundation and then I've been using a sponge afterwards just to get it really like seamless. This brush is the Spectrum B01 brush and honestly, these are so soft. I've only recently started using these and they are so soft. These and the Backstage Beauty ones, which you'll see later on in the video look like this. Fab. Don't get me wrong, I still love the Morphe brushes, but I'm switching it up. Oh, I'm getting it in my hair. Hopefully you guys can see, but this foundation has such a nice finish. It just looks like skin. Such a nice like dewy, satiny finish. Oh. Love it. I have a little friend on my forehead at the moment, like, why are you here? I didn't invite you. <laughs> brush is amazing at blending out the foundation, but like I said, I always go in with a sponge afterwards just to really make everything look seamless and, oh, don't you just love a brand new sponge? Oh, I just realized I've got to go wet this now. Ugh. I'm back. So yeah, this sponge is the Real Techniques one. I do love this. So good. I love this concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy concealer. It's a little bit light at the moment because I'm so tan, but we'll work with it. Oh, and also an amazing dupe for this. I've got it here. I'm prepared. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Honestly, the same thing. They're identical. Highlight my face as well. Cover up that big old Jeff on my forehead. <laughs> so I blend out the concealer with the sponge and then, this is what I mean by going over my foundation, I'll switch it round and blend the foundation into the concealer as well. A sponge I think is honestly the best for blending out foundation and concealer. It just makes everything melt into the skin. Yeah. <laughs> Going with the flat side and just beat my face. Now, even though I want this to look really glowy and dewy, I have oily skin, so I always set my face. I feel like it just makes my foundation last longer anyway. Obviously, if you have dry skin, you can skip these parts, but we're just getting ready with me, you know? To set my under eyes, I love the uh, Makeup Revolution Luxury Banana Powder. I love this one because honestly, it's not too yellow. It doesn't look really mental underneath my eyes. And I'm using a Backstage Contour Slash Blush Sculptor. I just feel like it fits perfectly under here. See, can you guys see that? It's kept the brightness, but it's not yellow. There's not a yellow cast. I appreciate this powder. Put it underneath this eyeball. Then to set the rest of my face, I use a teeny, teeny, teeny amount of the Soap & Glory Kick-Ass Instant Retouched Pressed Powder. Every time I read Kick-Ass, I just want to be like, kick-ass, you know? No? Only me? Okay. <laughs> the brush is the Backstage Angled Powder Brush, so I just take a diddy amount and set my face. I just do this so my bronzer and stuff blends so much better onto my skin. Ta-da! We're done with you. Thank you. Now we've got to make this super sun-kissed. Oh my god, the itchiest nose in the world. Ah! The NYX Matte Bronzer in Deep Tan looks 
something like this, and then I'm using a Morphe E4 brush to blend this out. Honestly, my favourite bronzer brush ever. Bronzer brush. That's a tongue twister. Like, say that ten times over. It's just the perfect size. It fits on my cheek perfectly. Yes! Honestly, when I put bronzer on, I'm like, that's so much better. Teeny bit on the nose. Honestly, I just feel like putting a little bit of bronzer on the tip of your nose makes it look like a natural tan. This blush smells unreal. Unreal. It smells like I'm on holiday. By the pool, pina colada in my hand, just sunbathing, just chilling. That's this. <laughs> this is the Benefit California blush. It's the perfect colour. It's that peachy golden shade. Taking it on a Spectrum A05 brush. Let's put it on my cheeks. It's so pretty. I never was a blush girl until I found this because it's such a perfect shade. Oh my god, I just realised I'm like smiling to myself when I do it like. Because <laughs> I'm extra AF. With the same brush, I'm going over the top of it with the Soap and Glory Peach Party like brush, brush? <laughs> blush brick thingy, my bobby, I don't, you, you know. Swirling all the colours and just pop it on. Hopefully you guys can see. This makes my cheek look so glowy and because you know we're going for that glowy look today I'm just gonna pop it on top doesn't really add color to the skin which i like so obviously i've already got blush and stuff it just adds that glow back into my skin which i'm here for it i'm here for it we are now onto the part that just makes this look just makes it finito complete cherry on top these have the most intense glow ever and i love it before i do this quickly i'm just gonna put some lip balm on because my lips are Dry AF. <laughs> so one of them I've had for longer and literally been wearing non-stop and the other one's more new but I'm freaking obsessed. <laughs> so this is the one I've had longer. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero palette which looks like this. This is what I've been wearing in all my recent Instagram photos so if you've been wondering what like the glow was, it's this bad boy. This is amazing. Just wanted to share it with you guys because I was wearing it in my last video but the one I'm going to use today because I used Koshal's the other day at a photo shoot that we was at and I was like, oh my god, I need that in my life. Also, I heard amazing things about this brand of highlighter because um, my friend Talia uses it all the time. So this is the Ofra Blissful Highlighter, like, even in the pan. What? I'm going to use a Spectrum B06 brush. It's just a little eyeshadow brush, but it fits perfectly on my cheek. Now, because I'm so extra, I like to spray my face and then apply it just to make it really, really intense. So this is the Urban Decay D slick oil control setting spray so I spray one side apply spray the other apply the funny thing is as well though I'm barely even going in I'm literally going like this and applying it and it's that pigmented watch this I'm just hitting all the high points of my face. I'm gonna do above my eyebrows too. Just tapping over the top with my sponge just to make sure there's no edges to the highlighter. Look at my face. It actually looks wet. Living for it. Honestly, if you love a freaking intense highlighter where your skin looks wet, you need this in your life hands. The eyes were so simple. So all I literally did was coat on some mascara. My favorite, of course, which is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Does this lengthen? Yes. Does it add volume? Yes, it's drugstore, even better. I just curl my eyelashes first just to really get them. I just pump the eyelash curler for a few seconds. Done. I just go in and coat my lashes with this. I don't hold back. If you guys know me, you know I love myself some false lashes. Even though my eyelashes are quite long anyway, I just feel like false lashes complete any makeup look. But this mascara, guys, like, look at my lashes. I don't feel like I even need to wear lashes. I feel like I've been really into this fresh face look recently. I've honestly got mascara everywhere right now. Oops. Just popping some on my bottom lashes as well. Oh my god, I swear we all have that mascara face. <laughs> oh, I didn't say, but if you're wondering why my chest looks quite shiny, it's because I took some of that same Ofra highlighter and just buffed it in like this. I'd add a little bit more because, you know. Why not? Then on my lips, I was wearing like a really nude lip colour. Now the combo it was, was the Nip and Fab Matte Liquid Lipstick in the colour Cool Nude. Now, this is like a beigey brown colour. Um, and these are new as well, and I've really been enjoying the formula of these. Then over the top, I go in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. This just adds that little bit of like pink to the lip um, because this is so like cool tone. So I just mix them together. 
So you know, because of my skin tone, this lip color on me looks really gray. Like it doesn't really look like I have any lips, which is why I take this NYX soft matte lip cream over the top. It just adds like a little bit more kind of color to my lips. I really like this combo though. It's really unique. It's kind of like a um, like a cool toned brownie nude. I don't know. I love it. So this is the makeup that I was wearing. I have been loving it. I just think it looks really fresh. Love the glow. And I feel like any of you can do this. It's so simple. But now I'm going to move on to the hair. So this is honestly so simple to do. A lot easier than you might think. I'm pretty sure that I have done a really similar hairstyle to this before on my channel, but it was ages ago, so it's kind of updated now, so I will show you again. So I just section off the top layer of hair, and the curling wand I use is one that looks like this. Don't judge my, like, cheetah print hair tool. <laughs> but just any curling wand that kind of goes, like, bigger to smaller, like this. So just take a bit of hair, hold the hair tool down, wrap my hair flat around it. I leave kind of the ends out, and I hold it for, like, four seconds, and then let it go and then as you can see get a curl i pretty much just repeat this around my entire head um this curling wand is so hot so it literally curls my hair so far so the key to the volume though is you want to make sure you do curls in opposite directions so some going away some coming towards your face this one i'm going to do now towards my face Like that. I honestly just go around now and repeat it all over my hair. Just make sure that you keep remembering to like alternate the way the curls go because that's like the most important thing. Take down the top layer and then I just, I kind of just do the top layer kind of like randomly. So instead of parting it anywhere because I don't really want a part in, I like the hair that I can flip it in any direction I want and it kind of falls like that. Grab a random section, give it a curl just like that and then go back in take another random section and I'll probably do this one um, towards my face because the other one was away and yeah I just keep repeating that until I've curled the whole top layer I literally have ringlets right now. Now that they've cooled down, I just go ahead and run my fingers through my hair. Shake, just shake my hair about. And then just go in and like separate the curls myself. So I mean, as you guys can see, I don't have to do much volume wise. I mean, one, I have a crap ton of hair anyways. Two, because um, obviously the curls are quite small, so there's a lot of them. And three, because of the way we curled them, so we curled some away, some towards, so our hair doesn't like sit as one big curl, it's just really big and messy. <laughs> I don't do too much else to it, I take the Bedhead Queen for a Day Thickening Spray, just sort of flip my hair about and add a little bit in. All that this does is just add a little bit of texture to my hair, so that it stays thick and big for the whole day. I just scrunch it in. You don't need a lot of this stuff at all because it's got a lot of texture to it. Spray a tad bit of hairspray just to hold the curl. So this is literally it for the hair, guys. Honestly, it's so quick and easy. It's just really messy, beachy waves. The great thing about these curls as well is they last for days. Like, throw some dry shampoo in your hair for like the next few days. You can do what you want with it. You can put it up, like, completely up to you. So, like, versatile, I feel like. But that is it for this get ready with me. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. I love doing these kind of sit down, talking, get ready with me. They're just so chilled, one of my favorites to film. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. And if you do maybe want to see a little bit more of me, don't forget to subscribe while you're here. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I love you and I will see you all in my next one. Mwah.